Dear student, this is Kamruna. Today I am going to discuss about chapter 13, Modern Physics and Electronics. Before going to new topic, I will discuss about previous radioactivity topic. Radioactivity. Radioactivity is defined as the emission of particles and electromagnetic rays from the nucleus of an unstable atom. That means emission of particles include alpha rays and beta rays and electromagnetic rays include gamma rays. Unstable atom means the atom which exists proton number 82. That shows emission of particles and electromagnetic rays and forms those atoms into other forms. That means a new element is formed due to radiation of an unstable atom and a stable atom is formed. Now we know that due to radiation or radioactivity property three types of radiation occur that is alpha particle, beta particle and gamma rays. Alpha particles are fast moving helium atoms, B beta particles are fast moving electron and gamma is an energetic electromagnetic wave and this energy is calculated in mega electron volt unit. So we are getting a clear information about the radioactivity. radioactivity is defined as the emission of particles and electromagnetic rays from the nucleus of an unstable atom. Due to radioactivity, we get three types of radiation from an unstable atom, alpha particle, beta particle and gamma rays. Now we know that due to emission of beta ray, new elements are formed. One is uh, a proton number is increased in the nucleus by deducting of a neutron. That means neutron is converting into proton. So the number of proton is increased. The, again I am telling neutron is converting into proton. So the number of proton is increased. And the second type is how new element is formed is a proton number is decreased in the nucleus by converting neutron that means here proton is converting into neutron so in two types new element is formed due to emission of beta ray that is in one case neutron is converting into proton and the other case proton is converting into neutron now the total number of proton and neutron is known as nucleon. Now a beta particle is actually an electron and for this inside the nucleus a neutron has to be dissociated into proton and electron. That means neutron is converting into proton electron and this is known as anti-particle or anti-neutrino particles. This is known as anti-neutrino particle and the amount of energy an unstable atom will show or so emission of beta particle depends on this anti neutrino particle or anti particle which is chargeless and very small that means the total energy of beta particle depends on the part of the total energy of radiation received by the anti neutrino particle i am repeating the energy of the beta particle depends on the part of the total energy radiation 
received by the anti neutrino particle you will get the information about anti neutrino particle that i am telling in 360 long page i am repeating a beta particle is actually an electron and the emission occur inside the nuclear uh, nucleus change that means the total radioactivity or nuclear change occur inside the nucleus in this case a neutron is converted into proton electron plus this is known as anti particle of a neutrino or we can say that anti neutrino which is chargeless that means it is neutral and its mass is very small and the total energy of a radiation that means beta radiation energy depends on the total energy received by anti neutrino particle so it plays a very important role total energy of radiation depends on the anti neutrino particle this is the first case that i have told that um, new a neutron are converted into proton and increases the number of proton and the second case is the emission of an anti particle of electron is called beta radiation here is another thing come that is pro, uh, positron positron is the anti particle of electron a proton has to be converted into neutron inside the nucleus this is the second case proton number is decreasing and converting into neutron plus neutrino and this saying that anti neutrino chargeless this is the structure of atom i have said the total radioactivity or uh, uh, situation or emission occurs in, in nucleus inside the nucleus formation of new element here neutron trans uh, 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 transforms into proton electron plus anti neutrino particle a proton number is increased in the nucleus by deducting of a neutron here is the deduction of neutron neutron is converting into proton and anti particles is uh, formed and the total emission depends on the energy received by the total by the sorry anti particles or anti neutrino particles and the number of nucleon remains same but the atomic number increases so new element is formed that means the total number of nucleon remains same that means neutron number is decreasing but the proton number is increasing so the number of uh, proton and uh, proton and neutron is totally known as nuclear uh, nucleon number so if uh, one uh, neutron is converting into one proton so then the total nucleon number remains the same but the atomic number is increasing but the atomic number is increasing so new element is formed okay is it clear if neutron is converting into proton that means one neutron is decreasing and one proton is increasing so the number of nucleon remains same but the number of proton is increasing so the atomic number is increases and new element is formed here is the example of formation of new element formation of new element another example proton is converting into neutron and neutrino particle a proton is decreased in the nucleus one by one and the atomic number is also decreases and new element is formed 
that means proton number is decreasing that means atomic number is decreasing but the nucleon number is same because proton is converting into neutron so this is a very important line to remember that nucleon number is same but the atomic numbers decreases and increases he, this is the example of decreasing and this is the example of increasing this is not the example i am discussing about this line this is the total example of conversion of uh, new um, uh, carbon 14 isotope to nitrogen 14 and due to the emission of beta radiation why neutrinos or anti neutrinos are not considered as radioactive rays we are seeing that here is neutrino and here is anti neutrino particles are formed due to the emission of beta radiation but they are not considered as radioactive because they are chargeless they are inert that means they cannot react and they are very high speed so they cannot ionize in uh, any molecules of any matter okay so they are chargeless that means they are not affected by electric or magnetic radiation uh, magnetic field and inert means non reactive and high speed particles means it cannot be stopped very easily so we are going to the characteristics of beta rays beta rays are negative charge influenced by electric and magnetic field because beta rays are charged um, um, negatively charged and we know that beta rays are the first moving electrons so electrons are negatively charged they are influenced by electric and magnetic field it has ionization power because when beta rays passes through the molecules and atoms of a matter due to the coalition with them it ionizes the matter and it has more penetration power than that of alpha i have earlier said that alpha is a helium atom but electron is uh, less in size because uh, 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 we know that atom is large in size than a, a particle at uh, electron okay so it has more penetration power then alpha we know that if it is small in size it can pass through easily penetration power means power of passing through a matter so as beta ray is consist of fastest moving electrons so it has more power of penetration a normal beta ray can be stopped by a few millimeter thick aluminum sheet it may be 3 to 5 millimeter so we are getting the characteristics of beta rays thank you to all uh, for listening me patiently stay at home stay safely thank you my dear student